why there have been no great women artists since about she starts and what she does is she does a very intellectual discussion on it without getting into any emotional kind of um, defensive kind of um, reply or response she just says you know there are great artists great women artists exceptional artists but uh, over the years they haven't been any women counterpart of uh, michelangelo van gogh rembrandt picasso so where are the women they where are the women artists where have been any women artists so that's how she starts and uh, then she talks about talk about the assumptions that we make underlying assumptions of what great art is and what a great artist the whole business of production of art and she gets into that on as an intellectual discussion so i will explain it with michelangelo the michelangelo was an artist of renaissance period so you know renaissance it is revival of humanism it is um, a, a man is the measure of all things that's the greek philosophy that we are uh, that they are reviving at that time so any artist like michelangelo who's done such beautiful artwork and actually uh, portrays human life so realistically with such great mastery obviously he was a great artist and uh, he was considered almost next to god and uh, he was an artistic genius absolutely no doubt about it so but there is also a myth about artistic genius there is this boy wonder artistic genius golden nugget theory of artistic genius myth that is there and i'll explain it a little so there is this manifestation of genius artistic genius or any genius for that matter and then there is this full expression of the genius and what we assume is that between the manifestation and expression the society or the institution structure don't play much role they secondary role they play like if there is no external stimuli this person would continue to do great art one after the other and that is the assumption that we make and that's the assumption that we is challenging so if you see look at michelangelo's life he was he lived living in florence which is the center of art production and he had very early talent his father took him to uh, a very famous artist of the time gilandi at 13 years of age to have an apprenticeship done now that's where he practiced gilandi then uh, introduced him to the very wealthy medici family and the medici family were the patron of michelangelo for almost throughout his life and then towards the end of his life there is a gentleman called giorgio vasari who was the earliest art historian who decides to write a book on renessa artists and um, michelangelo was the only living artist that he wrote about and he completely immortalized him by saying he was the greatest artist living on earth and it is absolutely true absolutely no doubt but for this whole michael angelo to from genius to producing great art he was really at the right place at the right time so the production of art had certain things to do with the society where he lived and where he worked and that is the assumption of genius that we take and that is what um, uh, linda nofin was questioning